Today we're going to take a look at this Dino Riders Harness the Power of Dinosaurs set from Mattel. This is the Rulian Warriors Battle Pack. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, the box isn't that big. It's got this, this art is awesome. I will never throw this box away. You got some of the Dino Riders on the sides. Rulian Warriors Battle Pack. It's a war of survival in 65 million BC, the age of the dinosaur. The Dino Riders, survivors of a devastated planet, become friends and allies of the powerful dinosaurs. Their evil enemies, the Rulians, captured and enslaved the dinosaurs, shackling them with horrible brain boxes. That's a war that began in another galaxy, millions of years in the future, and continues millions of years in the past. Dino Riders, harness the power of dinosaurs. The top of it, you can see what's actually in it. So this is supposed to be an Entertainment Earth exclusive, but I got it for like $3 less on Amazon. So let's take a look. There they are out of the packaging, and when I first saw this box and I saw the way they were made, I thought they were going to be the size of army men, but they are not. So I'm just going to throw something in here for scale, because here is a standard size battle master. They are tiny. These little dudes are about one inch tall. You get three standing dudes on either side, three dinosaurs on either side. Uh, the bad guys get four riders. The good guys get four riders, but you can't actually take the rider out of the pterodactyl. The pterodactyl, uh, that guy's molded in there, which is okay. Uh, the riders do come out. Uh, you can pop them right out of their little seats, just like that. So that's pretty cool. There are three in the brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they do pop out. They're, once you get them in there, they're kind of stuck in there. But they do come out. You can take them off their seats. Pretty cool. You got a commander or a communications guy. Guy with a, what is that, like a grenade launcher. A guy with a machine gun. Rocket launcher, machine gun. Guy looks like kind of like a scout or a commander. You've got a T-Rex. A so you have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, a Petrodactyl, uh, Sorolophus. Yeah, I can't read those. If you can read those, good luck. Uh, they named all the people. Uh, they don't like. They look pretty much like what you see on the back of this box. It's not a bad representation of what they actually look like. They're just tiny. So you figure. Tiny. So I got these because I've been making the other Dino Riders sets for the uh, Kingdom figures. And I loved Dino Riders when I was a kid. And occasionally I would go looking for the toys and they're hella expensive. So I just never bought them. Now a couple things that do bother me about this set is... Um, this is just a little bit of nerding out here. The bad guys used brain boxes to control the dinosaurs. So... The T-Rex has a brain box. The Triceratops have a brain box. This thing doesn't have a brain box. This raptor does. So one of the other things that was kind of um, par for the course for that show was most of the time, the good guys used mostly plant-eating dinosaurs, and the bad guys, they of course used carnivorous dinosaurs, so your T-Rexes and your raptors and stuff. Um, again, the show's super old, I may be remembering that incorrectly, but I don't remember them ever having anything that they could ride without the brain box. And the good guys definitely didn't have brain boxes. Now, if that's just supposed to be armor, cool. It just seems a little bit strange. So, the detail on these, if the camera will pick it up, is fantastic. You've got the stretch to the skin. It's made of a kind of softer plastic. So there's... You know, the tail moves kind of a little bit. They're not poseable in any way. They're just, they're not hard. Um, lots and lots and lots of awesome molded detail. 
This thing, when I first got it, I thought that came off. Just the way they molded it. That's awesome. The Brontosaurus was the biggest toy you could get of the set. And was basically a walking fortress. So, take a look at the, the raptor. It looks really cool, even if his head is huge. It still looks really cool. Texture on the skin, the armor, the toes. Again, these look awesome. Now, this set I think I got for $17 on Amazon. They're normally $20 from Entertainment Earth, but you figure free shipping wins. Um, hopefully the screen's not uh, too... If the screen was blurry the whole time, I'm sorry about that. Um, so here you go. Here is the Dino Rider set. Uh, you can Again, you can get these... Entertainment Earth, or you can get these from Amazon. They are fantastic, just little tiny figures. I don't, I don't know if I'd recommend little kids playing with them because they are super small, like super, super small. So, well, that's my short little review of the Dino Rider set. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the link for uh, the merch store. Again, uh, I will be giving away rollers to anybody I see at TFCon this year wearing one of my shirts. Uh, the link is in the description for uh, the announcement and for the actual shirts themselves. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, show your friends, annoy your parents, whatever. Good night.